Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Before we start, I want to say all the AdSense from this video is going to be directly donated to the families of the people who are affected by this tragedy. I'm also going to be including a bunch of links down below for fundraisers to help support the families that were affected by this. And if you have the means to help them out, then please do so. If you haven't already heard about the tragedy that happened at the Astro World Festival, eight people died as a result of massive crowds of people pushing up to get close on the stage when Travis Scott went to perform at his festival. The Astro World Festival was created by Travis Scott and his team. It's run by them. He's the headliner. Everyone's heard about the story. I don't want to reiterate what's already been said. If you want to hear from some people that explain the situation really well, I would check out Anthony Fantano's video on it or Philip DeFranco covering the story on his channel. I'll include those videos down below. But if you watch those and you know what's going on, I'm going to explain the basics of what I believe and then move on to what I mainly wanna talk about today. This event was purely caused by horrible planning on the side of Travis Scott and his team and the people who ran this festival. Lives could have been saved if Travis Scott did better in his position. And there's so many instances showing that that could have happened. I know there's a lot of fans of him that say that things wouldn't have gone differently, but that's just not true. And we have plenty to show for it. Everything here was a result of the poor planning of the festival, the fact that they oversold tickets, the fact that Travis Scott incited people to act the way that they acted. You can blame very specific people for doing specific things, but festivals are run all the time. I've been to plenty of concerts, plenty of festivals where things do get very crazy, where people are storming the stage. The reason that nothing goes wrong and the reason that people aren't dying like they did here and just getting injured in general, eight people may have died, but hundreds of people suffered in this tragedy. It was described as like the floor being covered in bodies. People were giving CPR to people who didn't need CPR and People who didn't know how to give CPR were trying to save the lives of people who did need it without knowing what to do. This kind of situation does not happen when you follow the rules and regulations that are in place for events like this. I fully believe that the blame that is being placed on Travis Scott is warranted and that he could have prevented these eight lives from being lost if he cared one bit about it while the show was going on. But if you've listened to the stories and you know what's going on and you know how I feel about it, I'm going to move on with what I want to talk about today, which is the way that some people are twisting the story um, in a way that I just think is frankly very disrespectful and flat out false. And it's gonna start with someone who I've unfortunately worked with before, someone who I would, I don't know if I'd consider him a friend, maybe more of a friendly acquaintance. And that would be Big Nick. He's the one that helped me realize what some people were twisting the story into um, because he's the one also twisting the story. As you know, Big Nick has a way of portraying musical artists in a way that's like demonic, like they sold their soul to the devil or whatever. And that's fine as long as it's harmless. I don't know how much that can be a harmless thing. But in the past couple of days, I don't have these stories now because I decided to make the video about this after I saw them. But Nick has been putting out a slew of Instagram stories talking about how he thinks that the Astroworld Festival was this like devil ritual and that's why all this happened. And today it ended with this story, which I'm gonna start watching and explain my thoughts. The last time I had a post about the situation, and I know it's kind of like a day, two days old, but I posted a TikTok explaining the whole like spiritual deeper reason behind the whole astral world thing. So go check it out if you wanna learn more about it. So according to Nick, there's a spiritual deeper reasoning behind the whole astral world situation, which means that it wasn't just a festival, that was overcrowded with people not prepared to help save lives and that there wasn't an artist on stage that was deeply ignorant and idiotic and decided not to interfere with his show just because it would be more effort for him even though there were people being hurt. I forgot to mention that two of the people who actually died at the festival went to high school with me. They were a year younger than me and I didn't look into who they specifically were because I assumed that I didn't know them since they weren't in my grade, but I just realized that I was in a class with one of these people um, when I was in high school with them, which is kind of surreal. Okay, I'm gonna go to Big Nick's TikTok and let's see what his little breakdown is. 
The Travis Scott concert was a clear representation of the devil overplaying his hand. As you can see in these pictures here, we know exactly what type of scenario Travis Scott was trying to emulate and it was not of God, it was very demonic. Even people who were at the concert said that the concert felt like literal hell. This is a clear sign that the devil is freaking out and his pride and ego is allowing him to display himself even to the unbelieving. That was scary bro, it was so demonic bro. He sacrificed so many people's lives tonight like for real. The Bible says that Satan is the God, lowercase g, of this world and so because he has this power and temporary dominion over earth he uses celebrities in the industry to bring as many souls to hell as possible this was a very tragic event but it's allowing everyone's spiritual eyes to be open people obviously have it shoved in their face that satan is very real if you are watching this and this concert spooks you and it felt demonic that's because it was the devil is real but this also means that jesus christ is real he's the creator of your soul and my soul now is a clear warning sign from god to get right with his only son who took the punishment of all your so let me break down my initial thoughts you know i'm sure m more things will pop into my head as i finish this video and edit it or whatever but i'm just gonna say how i feel about it right now i think this is super harmful i think by placing the blame on the devil in this scenario you're dehumanizing all of the shit that travis scott and the people running the festival and everyone involved for the reason that these people died you're dehumanizing them and making it seem like that blame isn't placed on them. And yeah, he, you know what he's going to say is that Travis Scott took this deal from the devil and he's working with him. But we need to say it how it is, you know? There's human people, there are human beings that are responsible for these people losing their lives. And to turn this into some ritual devil thing to push a Christian agenda. And I'm not saying that this is like a whole thing of Christianity. I want to make it clear that this is pushing Big Nick's idea of his Christian agenda. This is exactly what every harmful organization does to people who are in a vulnerable scenario. Vulnerable is that they use scare tactics to get them to join whatever group they're a part of. In this case, Nick is using the scare tactic of the devil and of demonic cults as Astro World is being described. And he's trying to scare people into accepting Jesus into their life because they're afraid that the devil's gonna get them next since Travis Scott's festival was the latest place that the devil like claimed lives. But no, it was the fact that this concert was overcrowded. Travis was telling people to storm the stage. People were getting trampled. Their bodies were getting crushed. They couldn't breathe. That's not a work of the devil. That's a work of a human being who was ignorant and idiotic and incompetent and decided not to save lives when he had the perfect chance to because he's right there on that stage. There's multiple clips of other artists, specifically, I think it was with Linkin Park when Chester Bennington was on stage and they had this classic saying where they said, when someone falls down and everyone would respond and go, you pick them up. And that's how you're supposed to do it at concerts and that's what you should be promoting. But Travis consistently incites this kind of behavior at his concerts and that's why eight people are dead. It's not because of the devil. It's not because of some ritual. It's not because the devil's scared and he's freaking out and you need to accept Jesus in your life or you're going to be next. The satanic community got a hold of my Christian rap video and they've started to unleash hate on it. Let's show them that evil won't win. That's exactly what his whole thing is. It's guilting people and it's scare tactics to getting them to support him. And I do truly believe that Big Nick thinks he's doing the right thing here. But right here, this is him trying to get views on a music video. This has nothing to do with Christianity. This has to do with people clicking on his content. And that's really all I have to say. I know people in the comments are always smarter than me and they're going to point out a bunch of stuff that I didn't say. So please have a conversation down there. Let me know if you agree with me. If you don't, this is the Philip DeFranco show. You know, we always want to promote us talking and having a, a discussion. But I don't know what to say, you know. It disappoints me because Big Nick is someone who I see as a person who really believes they want to do what's right. And after I talked to him, I really thought he was going in the right direction, but he continues to be friends with the people from the podcast, especially Gabe, who is very much a racist. Um, he continues to push out ideas that people like Megan the Stallion are the devil and that Travis Scott is working with the devil. Hello, Bambi. And Lil Nas X is working with the devil. Oh, all of these uh, extremely popular music stars all happen to be black and apparently they're all working with the devil don't know if there's a correlation there but every single one i've seen seems to be like that big nick if you're watching this i don't want people to think that i'm still cool with the stuff you're saying just because we made amends i think this kind of stuff sucks it 
sucks really bad and it sucks that eight people are dead and we're pretending like it's not a human being's fault who needs to be held accountable we can't just blame everything that's bad on the devil and pretend like we can move on and thank jesus sometimes you need to look at a situation and realize that people need to be told what they did was wrong and there needs to be consequences for those actions and i know you're not saying that they don't deserve consequences for their actions but this isn't travis scott doing a deal with the devil this is travis scott placing a priority over his show rather than the people that paid money to be at that show i think that's all i have to say about this i hope you have a great wednesday and um take care of each other be nice and i love you all bye